Hey guys, today we'll be unboxing the new Mockingbird single to double stroller along with all of the accessories I thought I would need for it. So let's see how this goes. One of the things that the stroller comes with, which I didn't know was going to come, was a lined wet bag. It says, live in the moment, laundry can wait. And it's amazing because it came with this little note that says, you know, sometimes your babies make whoopsies and <laughs> shouldn't let it ruin a perfectly good stroller, which I completely agree with. So this is really nice. I've been using Ziploc bags up until this moment. So that's really, really positive. Love that. What do you think about how that seat feels? Nice and stiff. <laughs> well, it's brand new. That could probably be the bag that we would use to take it to travel. <laughs> You're not even going to try anymore. <laughs> so these are going to be upper adapters and lower adapters. And what we have to do is we have to bring the pink seat up with the upper adapters to make room for the dark blue seat that's going to be in the lower adapters. Very nice. Sorry, you okay? Yeah, don't touch. Okay. So just a random side note, but these adapters are kind of heavy. <laughs> I know it won't mean anything. It's not like you have to actually carry them, but they're just kind of hefty. Perfect. So we got, I'm just going to call it Hayden's seat because it's for Hayden and Mia's seat. Um, and this is how it looks right now. These are both seats in their upright positions. I would imagine maybe we would stroll like this if, you know, Hayden's mom would like to do that or we can have both children facing us and his little feet will get to go right in the basket, which I think he would enjoy. And that would give you the most amount of space between each child, which is amazing, right? You see there's a huge gap there. Um, so that's always good. That'll be them laying down. So that's, that's pretty nice. This will work out really well for, for our family. I think it's beautiful.
I believe this is the car seat adapter. I ordered the car seat adapter and two rain covers. So it all came in five boxes, which was pretty insane. The car seat is attached. The front seat would have to be facing inward because otherwise the canopy gets in the way of the car seat and then it will not allow the car seat to click in. Can you still lay the car seat down? So we have this Ibex Mios and this Ibex Preem. So when we have our car seat in those strollers, because they're all Cybex, our car seat, our Cloud Q is uh, able to lay down. However, I think because this is not, you know, uh, the same brand, it does not allow the car seat to lay down. So there's a little lever back here that will make the car seat lay down, but it's not happening for this guy. So that's a little bit of a letdown because the main feature of that car seat is the fact that you can lay it down so the baby doesn't have to be in the sitting position. Um, and I got the adapter for the stroller because I wanted more options. So that's a little bit sad, um, but I guess it's just something we'll have to deal with. Oh, <laughs> so it might be a little wonky trying to fold it like that. So <laughs> does it at least stand up by itself? No, that might not be a good idea. Oh, <laughs> definitely not a good idea. Yeah, so that would probably be the ideal way to do it. With one face, with them both facing outward, just like this. It's not very compact, but it is doable. Don't close it, it's too thin. Yeah, that might, I mean, that might be, <laughs> that might be the takeaway from here. Maybe not to close it with uh, both seats attached. Let me see something. So this is how it looks like with the extendable sunshade, which I love it. It's really nice. There's like four little magnets that go along the uh, canopy and you know, you can just rip them off whenever, but it looks like this. So it's nice because you know, it's, it, I feel like it would serve, even though the sides are open, I feel like it would serve as a bug net and a sun canopy so a zipper here and it doesn't make the canopy extended but what it does do is give you an extra mesh window here so you would just you know fold that out of your way and in the event where your child is not facing you um, you you know you would have an extra way an even bigger peekable window and an extra way for some airflow to get in there so that's pretty cool um, the seat has a lever recline right here. So you would just, you pull it up. See, you pull it up and then you can lay the seat down. So that's as flat as it's gonna go. Um, I guess I would only do that if she's asleep, but for the most part, there's a few different positions. So let's go back to flat, so you have flat. Yeah, that one. It almost feels like wherever you want to stop, you can, which is great. I really like that. This basket is huge. I'm gonna have to stop Pepper Jack from walking in there. Um, and hopefully he respects me because he loves to be inside of my other strollers. It's super annoying. So over here, sort of like the Cybex Preem and the Baby Jogger City Tour 2. They have sort of a dual system to close. I guess you do have to hit it, slide this over, sorry, and hit the button, and then it collapses down. Oh, 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 don't do this one-handed. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. So this is how the stroller would look if you folded the seat facing you. That's not really super compact. I guess it's not meant to be folded like that with the upper adapters connected. 
Um, but ideally, that's how I wanted to have my seats. I wanted to have the upper adapter. So I got to see how I fix this. Okay, so I turned the seat and we're going to see how it looks if I fold it the other way with the seat facing out and the upper adapter still attached. So let's see. I guess that looks much better and much cleaner. Um, but it just, it just kind of sucks because a lot of my strollers um, do not fold unless the seat is facing outward. And, uh, you know, even though it does fold with the seat facing in, it, it looks like a big sloppy mess. So I'm kind of in the same predicament. One of the nice features about this very, very large basket is that there are some side pockets here that you can unvelcro and you can put, you know, I would say like your phone or wallet or keys in there. So that's pretty nifty. I, I like that a lot. A little secret compartment. Um, it's only on, it's only on the left side, but still better than nothing. One thing I'm not sure that I mentioned is that I got Mia's seat in the color Bloom and the inside design is the window pane design. And then for Hayden's seat, I got his in the color C, so like ocean sea. And the inside design is the watercolor drops. So I wanted to get them both different just to see, you know? So each stroller seat can hold up to 45 pounds which I think is really great. Uh, the canopies are weather resistant UPF 50. So that's also a big plus. And what I just read is the black and white patterns in the canopy were created to promote uh, visual stimulation for early childhood development, which I think is amazing. You know, they always say that the first colors babies learn to see are black and white. So you know that's that's really impressive that they were even thinking about that because you know you will have the canopy over their faces and they will have nothing else to look at so i thought that's really cute so the handlebar is adjustable for different heights you just press the two little buttons on the sides and it can go to a few different heights let's see that's the lowest and uh which one do you feel comfortable with yeah, that's a good one. The brake is a one-step brake. So, and he's wearing flip-flops, so you can see if it's flip-flop friendly. Yeah? Would you say it's flip-flop friendly? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And the wheels are supposed to be go-anywhere wheels, where they glide as if they were air-filled tires without the potential of going flat or popping. Um, so that's supposed to be amazing i haven't been able to test this out yet because we just opened it but i'll get back to you on if the wheels are as smooth as they advertise so overall i think that the mockingbird stroller is actually a really nice stroller it's kind of big kind of heavy but i think overall it would be good for you know not only mia but mia and hayden and our family and i think that it'll do everything we need it to do what do you think i think it's a good stroller a good fold you know, easy to manage. Yeah. Flip flop friendly. Basket takes 25 pounds. We could easily put Gizmo and Remy in there along with the baby, which would be really cute. Um, you know, I like that the handlebar accommodates both of us. I like that the canopy is, is okay. I think what makes it better is the extendable sunshade they include with it. I think that's really a cute idea. I love that whole thing. Um, I did try it out today during the day with Mia and uh the the push was it was all right like it wasn't i mean you know you got to remember that this is still a budget friendly stroller it's not you know it's not one of those long time brands it's not cybex it's not up baby but i think it does bring a lot and i can't wait to keep using it and keep finding out what else it can do so i hope this review was helpful and i hope you guys consider buying the mockingbird it's really great if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments and I'll answer whatever you want to know. Bye, guys. Bye.